Well, it's an iconic staple here in Toledo, along with glass, Jeep. One thing that truly means Toledo, Tony Paco's. And this morning we are live out at the original location on Front Street with Lindsay Vaughn, and we are celebrating 90 years, Lindsay. Yes, we are. 90 years. It's crazy. Yeah, that is a long time. Take us back to the beginning. How did this all get started? So, uh, Tony Paco Sr. and his wife Rose started, uh, you know, during the Depression, 1932. Um, wanted to serve really good food to the local Hungarian community and came up with Paco's. <laughs> and they, so it's a Hungarian hot dog that he made famous. What exactly is yes. a Hungarian hot dog? <laughs> So it is a half of kielbasa sausage topped with our secret dog sauce, which is a meat and tomato blend. And then we top it with onions and mustard and in a soft pillowy bun. It's amazing. It, yes, it's absolutely delicious. And then of course, over the decades, you've added so much more to that menu. You know, the paprikash and the pickles. I love the fried pickles. And then of course, you've got the potato yes, so salad, good. you know, just some really authentic uh, items there that you can pick up at Paco. So, you know, things have, you know, changed and evolved over the years. But one thing that holds true, though, is that original dog. And boy, is it delicious. Uh, let's talk about some of the traditions, you know, associated with Tony Paco's and how things really took off. I think mash played a big part in this. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Jamie Farr, obviously being a local Toledo native, um, has you know was really a big fan of Paco's growing up, and so he really wanted to make sure that he brought that to the American populace through Mash. And then so we're he, mentioned on seven different episodes. Sorry. Yeah, so he he kept it going. You know, it wasn't just you know one time that he mentioned it on the show. He mentioned it several times, and I uh, you, you know I know yep. people from out of the area who know Mash who say, oh, you're in Toledo, Tony Paco's. You know, um, so it's obviously. Made a name for itself world famous uh, and delicious at that and then the other tradition that you guys have there that you see when you walk around any of the locations is all those <laughs> buns that are oh, signed now yeah. this started back and and he passed away recently but this started back with Burt Reynolds we're looking at that bun right there yeah, absolutely. He came here, he was doing the Rainmaker play, and he stopped here to have dinner, and it just, you know, they grabbed the first thing that they could find, and there was the hot dog bun, and that's how it all started. So yeah, 1972 was the first bun signing. And there's so many now. I mean, you guys have seen the likes of uh, so many celebrities come in and out of the restaurant. Yes, celebrities, presidents, I mean, it's just amazing. Musicians, I mean, anybody and anybody that's, you know, cool yeah <laughs> yeah they all they need to have a bun fun, so yeah. they gotta get a bun so uh, how are you guys celebrating this year we're doing a variety of things. We just finished a contest where we gave away free Pacos for a year. Um, we've got more stuff coming up throughout the rest of the summer. Cakewalk and jazz bands coming back. We're really excited. So just keep looking and we'll have stuff out all throughout the rest of this year to celebrate our 90 years. And Lindsay, what do you think has, has really made Tony Paco such a success in our community? I really think it's the people. I mean, we have, you know, employees that have been working for us for, you know, 35 years, you know, I mean, so it's just this really amazing sense of community that we've been able to build and expand upon. And I think that that's really what keeps, you know, people coming back to Paco's. Do you have a favorite in menu the amazing item? Food. Yes, in the, uh, the amazing food, right. Do you have a favorite <laughs> menu item? <laughs> So I am a huge fan of our pierogies. I think they're so delicious. They're pillowy. They're great. I love them with our kraut on top. That's my favorite. Um, but you can't go wrong with the hot dog, um, you know, chicken paprikash. But yeah, pierogies are my favorite. Yes, and I, that's sort of a newish item that you guys have added in in recent years. And you know, you're you're helping out. Uh, the I'm Polish, so I love a good pierogi too. So you know, you help out all the folks here in the community serving up the best food. Um, are you guys open today? We are open today. So yeah, come on in. We'll be open at about 1030. So if you want to come in, have an amazing lunch or a dinner, we'll be here until about 9, 930 tonight. Very good. Or any of the other locations too. Right. You've got several now, so uh, you can pop around and uh, enjoy. Hot dog sounds good. That chili sauce, it is the best. Just dynamite. Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, congratulations, 90 years. That's a big deal.